Hi there YouTube, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a hard drive upgrade on the Apple PowerBook G3 Pismo. Uh, before we done the memory upgrade for it, so this time around we're going to be doing the, well I'm going to be doing the hard drive upgrade. So right in there I've got a uh, 20 gig hard drive and I'm going to be putting in a 80 gig hard drive. So here it goes. First, you start off by taking the keyboard off, like so. So it's been uh, you take push down the click between the F8 and F9 key, and the other one as well. Mind you, I'm doing this one-handed, so it is quite tough. So because I'm holding the camera in the other hand, <laughs> and you start by this is a heat sink. There's your hard drive. So you start by taking off the heat sink. Last time we had to do that because. Um, the memory slot was underneath it, so that's one screw off. The other one is the boring, boring bit. So here we go. So got the heat sink off pretty quick, and then all you got to do, if you notice here, there's a little tab right here, and you're gonna have to lift that and just sort of kind of jiggle it out when you get the actual metal tray out. What, what is supporting the actual hard drive make sure you're quite gentle and then slide it towards your left and then just get it out easily so now you can see the hard drive is out but it is still attached to the uh, ID uh, component so you'll have to leave that there and Basically, there's four screws that you need to um, basically get out first. Okay. So, you need the screwdriver that is a star screwdriver. So, here we go. In fact, yeah, I'm, I'm going to unscrew that and then basically come back to you. So, hold on. Okay, now I'm back. Um, I've unscrewed the four screws which were on each side. So there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. So I unscrewed those. And now you basically take this bit off here, which is basically attached to the actual motherboard itself. So just give me one moment. That is quite fiddly, so you have to be quite gentle, otherwise, you might break it. So I'm just going to take this off. Just give me one token because it is a two handed job. As you can see, I've basically taken that off, like so, yeah, you can see there, but it's still attached to the hard drive at the back, so you still got to uh, be a bit gentle. So what you do now is basically lift the hard drive out of that case. So I think basically it will um, slide out. Yeah, just give me one second. Uh, yeah, it will just basically lift up, basically, so, alright, uh, once you've taken the screws out, so you've got to be a bit, bit gentle with it, um, it will basically, let's see if I can do it one hand, yeah, yeah, basically come out just like so, now obviously you've disconnected it already, so there you go, so there's your hard drive, I'm going to put that aside now, and that's basically how the cable looks basically it's, it's fed through that little hole there so that's why you've got to be so gentle with it so that's sorted there so now i'm going to get the other hard drive and stick that in place so basically you do the whole reverse to that so just give me one second and get that in place because it is a two-handed job right i've got that in place now i'll put the hard drive back in that to casing and basically uh put the four screws in and basically put the back, the actual back bit in as well. Yeah, so basically put it back in its space. So, by the way, the screw, fitting the screws back in there was quite difficult because it was quite fidgety. So, you've got to be careful. You've got to be really gentle because it is very fragile. So, here we go. That's got it back in place. Let's make sure it has quite nicely. It has as well. Yeah. And it basically put the heat set back on, like so. There you go. And put the screws back in. Very simple. 
and then basically after that, put the keyboard back on, and that's it. And then you just do the reboot. Thanks very much, and that was the Apple PowerBook G3 Pismo hard drive upgrade. Thank you very much for watching, and keep tuned because there's more to come from the bad way. Mm -hmm.